I don't have to see it, but I know it's coming. I don't have to see it, but I know it's coming. I don't have to see it, but I know it's coming. So, some of the, some things happen to you when you're a seer. God just shows you things, and He'll show you the most bold things in a time it just looks ridiculous. So this morning, as I was getting ready for church, the Lord showed me a white sign with red writing on it that says, welcome to the new home of Change Church. But I know it's coming. 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 Just wide open space. The new home of Change Church. Glory. But I know it's coming. But I know it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> you are not getting it. That means for us to be in a position to put a sign in about 10 acres, that means your blessing has already arrived. Y'all not trying to hear what I'm saying. That means you. Is it going to be a healing today? I feel healing. God's going to heal you today. Are you listening to me? He's going to heal you today. What you're wrestling was not of God. And God said, I'm going to set you free today. Today. Are you listening to me? Today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There you go. Today, Hallelujah. clap your hands and give him praise. Bless your name, God. I'm telling you, I've seen in a vision fires being set all over the sanctuary. I'm telling you, there's a healing. There's a healing in the room. The atmosphere has been set for healing on today. Listen, if you need healing the whole service, you listen with the intent that God is going to heal me today. He's going to heal my loved one. Let me tell you what happened on last week. There was a young man, Trey Pleasant, who has been down since July and was sick. Amen. The prophets got together, gave him a handkerchief and said, for the next seven days, rub this on your body once a day. And on the seventh day, rub it seven times. He got to the third day and was up and said, texted me, Pastor, I'm healed and I feel so. Hallelujah. 
Somebody say, only God can do it. Only God can do it. Say, only God can do it. Only God can do it. Say, only God can do it. 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 Listen, you, I told y'all, you got to figure, if he started out with miracles in this church, where is we? What? Come on, let's get to this word. I don't want to shout it out. I want to keep the, at, the atmosphere. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hallelujah. Keontae, I mean, sorry, Kenye, won't he do it? Take a lap. Where's my paperwork? Hey. Hey. Listen, it wasn't no little sign either. It was one of them big, not only are we here, but we already own the land signs. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Somebody say, get ready, get ready, get ready, get, get ready, ready, get, get ready. ready. Get ready, get ready. I don't want you to miss a Sunday for the next seven weeks. Not a one for the next seven weeks. We believe in God for a miracle. Somebody say, it's my miracle. Miracle. Amen, amen, amen. Hello, virtual church. Amen. Welcome to the service on this morning. I know many people are out traveling and doing whatever, but I'm so glad the presence of God is here. And he's here to save. He's here to set free and deliver. I don't care what the enemy tries to do to you. God is still in control. God still has a plan. He is still God. Thank He's you, still Jesus. omnipotent. He's still on knowing yes. and omniscient God. He is Thank still you, powerful. Adonai yes. El Shaddai. He is our rock, Hallelujah, our Lord. king, our fortress, our battle axe, yes. our shelter yes, in the time of God. storm. He's a good God, and he has a plan for us. He has a plan for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. He got a plan for us. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> uh, Thank he's got you, a Jesus. plan for us. Thank you got a figure for God to show us a vision. Yeah. He's saying, I don't care what the devil says. I'm God. I just hear it in the spirit. Only God can do it. Regina, only God can do it. Musicians, you're dismissed. Amen. 
I just want to give you all of this word. We might have one more. Listen, you don't want to miss next Sunday. I will be here, yes, but a gentleman that uh, about a year before I started pastoring, I was in a full backslidden state. Full, fully backslidden. Somebody say fully black backslidden. Fully backslidden. If you looked up heathen in the dictionary, you'd see a picture of me like this. <laughs> and this man ministered to my heart. He ministered to me. He helped heal a pain that I thought never could be fixed. And he'll be here with us. I've been trying to get him here with us since the inception of the ministry. But he'll be here with us next Sunday. So please come and see a person who I consider one of my spiritual fathers. Amen. 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 Can we stand? We're going to read the word of God. Somebody say, I'm healed. Who needs a healing today? Why am I keep feeling that? Yes, yes, okay, it's here, okay. I'm healed. Genesis 1, 1 through 3. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. Somebody yell as loud as you can, use it. Amen, amen. Lay hands on yourself and say, now use it. Now use it. Say, now that you've got it, it. God said, use it. Use it. Clap use your hands and give him praise in this place. You may be seated. Amen, you may be seated. So one of the things I'm tasked with is giving you these principles. I'm so excited. You guys don't even understand what I'm feeling right now for me to see that sign lets me know that your blessing is on the way your blessing y'all y'all how long y'all been with me y'all still in, in, in style. i said your blessing is on the way I said, your blessing is on the way. Yes. Hey! So we have to be used. Now, one of the things I want you to know, and it's very important, is that something that God gave to me before we get into the message. Whatever you receive by grace, you have to maintain by grace. If favor puts you there, it's going to take favor to keep you there. So as we're moving into this next era of the 320 experience and we're receiving all this favor and doors are opening and we're in overflow, just know that your relationship with God cannot digress. You will have to seek God the same way you were seeking him before you got it to keep what he's about to give you. Amen? Amen. A principle, you guys should know this by heart now. A principle and I, is a fundamental truth or proposition that serves as the foundation for a system of belief behaviors or a chain of reasoning that has a predictable outcome. Somebody say predictable. Last week we introduced three critical words to the principle of calling it forth. The principle of calling it forth. We said authority, aptitude, and awareness. The principle of calling it forth states, by consistently applying the revelation of the will of God for your life, you will use your authority, aptitude, and awareness to constantly proclaim a spiritual mystery, and Jesus will cause it to manifest in your now. Three critical words. Somebody say authority. 
aptitude and awareness. Let's review just a little bit, and then we're going to be able to finish this part up. Listen to this. Authority, aptitude, and awareness are crucial as they are fundamental attributes we need to possess in order to develop our trust and confidence in God when we call things forth. So much so that when we call things forth, we can immediately start looking for signs of the manifestations of what he has declared. The sign serves as a notice to you that what you have been calling forth or what you have been speaking is on the way. So when you declare a thing and God gives you a dream about it or God gives you a revelation about it or God gives you a prophetic word or you go to the house and it feels like it's yours or you stand on the lot and you feel like it's yours or you're, or you're walking through a restaurant or you're going through different places and you feel a sense of ownership, a sense of knowing. That is God telling you that the thing you have asked for is on the way. It is my plan to bless you with it. Say this, say, I declare and I decree when I see the sign, it's already mine. Did you hear that? How many of you guys have had dreams about what you've asked God for? Deep. How many of you guys have had repeated dreams of what you asked God for? Somebody say, when I see the sign. It's already mine. When I see the sign, it is already mine. So these three words, power of authority, which is the power of influence. Aptitude, you possess the capacity and awareness. So let's pick up where we left off last week now. Authority. Carnally means the power to influence others, especially because of one's recognized knowledge about something. According to the principle of calling it forth, authority means, listen, because you are walking out the perfect will of God for your life. You are now positioned to influence a move of God on your behalf. Authority means that you are in a position to influence a move of God on your behalf. In other words, as a result of your obedience to God, you have authority with God that allows you to influence God's decisions in your life for your favor. Authority with God, listen, states... You have a level of intimacy with God through Jesus Christ. Ooh. That supersedes the normal interaction that believers have. That allows you to garner God's attention at will. You didn't get that. Authority with God. Pay attention says you have a level of intimacy with God. Intimacy with God. Into me, see with God. Through Jesus Christ, that supersedes the normal interactions that believers have that allows you to garner God's attention at will. Listen, your authority with God has influenced him to not only cause God to answer your prayers in your favor, but when he answers your prayer, he will give you revelation that will cause things you have lost to be restored in a greater capacity. Help me, Holy Ghost. Jeremiah 29, 12 through 14. How many of you guys have ever lost something? How many of you ever lost something because it was your fault? (laughs) How many of you lost something because you were disobedient and God told you not to, but you did it anyways and you lost it? (laughs) This scripture is for you. It feels so good to have a man at the door. God bless you, man of God. Amen. 
come right in and get to work. I love it. Yes. Jeremiah 29, 12 through 14. This is the word of the Lord for you. Then shall you call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from the nations and from all the places whether I have driven you, saith the Lord. Watch this. And I will bring you again into the place where I cause you to be carried away captive. In other words, God is saying, I have the power when you begin to please me to take you right back to the season where you begin to lose and turn that season around and cause you to be blessed in the places where you have been defeated. My God, I feel your anointing in this place. Somebody said, now use it. If you seek to please God, not only will he bring you back, but he'll give you a whole new season of a spiritual makeover. How many of you need a spiritual makeover? How many of you need a spiritual makeover? Somebody say, I need a spiritual makeover. I need God to do something new in me. I need a new mind. I need a new attitude. I need to be restored. I need to be delivered. I don't think the right way. I don't hope the right way. I don't believe the right way. I'm too easily swayed in my faith. Lord, make me over again. Give me a new heart. Give me a new mind. Do something new in me. I want to touch the hem of your garment. I receive it by faith. Uh, manifestation now. Manifestation. I need a makeover. Hey, And all you have to do is seek him with your whole heart. Moses could call things forth because he realized his lifestyle gave him authority with God. Listen. The Bible says that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If God can be pleased, then he can be pleased now. What has happened is we have taken this casual, nonchalant perspective because of grace. Not realizing the God who gave the grace still wants you to seek him. Exodus 33, 17 and 19. Let's go there. It says, this is, this is my scripture right here, man. Matter of fact, Dylan, when I die, put this on my tombstone. <laughs> this is my mantra. It says, and the Lord said to Sly. Y'all didn't get the revelation in that. And the Lord said to. <laughs> you're getting it. And the Lord said to. I will do this thing that thou hast spoken. For thou hast found grace in my sight. And I know thee by name. Listen, I got to stop right there. When God says, I know you by name, what he is saying is your reputation has gone before you. Your desire to please me has gone before you. You seeking my face has gone before you. You keeping the faith has gone before you. So I, oh my God. So when you call, I'm already listening. Somebody says your sacrifice has gone before you. Your love for God has gone before you. It is already in the spirit. Let 
me finish. Listen to this. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. Show me your glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. And will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. And will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. (sighs) There is someone in this building right now. You have gone through hell and high water over the last three months. You have stayed faithful while things have fallen apart. You kept believing while your faith is being challenged. Your situation has spoke contrary to your faith. You have seen people be delivered. You've seen people, 320 experience come to pass. You kept hoping though. You felt like a fool. You kept hoping though. You felt alone. You kept hoping and though you were oppressed. But God said it's your season now. Somebody say, it's my season now. It is my season now. Listen, it's my season. Give me a moment. Numbers, watch this. Please sit down, sit down, sit down. I feel a release in the spirit. Do you feel that release? It's about to go down for us, y'all. It's about to go all the way down. Somebody say God feels. Numbers 11 and 1 says, and when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. And the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burned among them and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. Listen, if God can feel anger, then God can be pleased. If God can be pleased, then God can be influenced. Your action can influence. Influence God to move on your behalf. Let's go to Proverbs 16 and 7. I want you to see this word. You guys are going to walk in a whole different mindset. Proverbs 16 and 7. Yes, yes, yes. Says when a man weighs, please the Lord. Yes, yes. He maketh, somebody say maketh. Maketh. He maketh, somebody say maketh. Maketh. Even his enemies be at peace with him. Your enemies have to be at peace with you because God is making them like you. Uh, He'll make them buy you lunch. He'll make somebody that doesn't like you promote you. He'll make somebody that doesn't like you. Y'all not trying to hear what I'm saying. He make his enemies be at peace with you. He'll make your enemies bless you because you got influence. With God. You got authority with God. Numbers 12, 6 through 10. Can I walk through this word with you? And he said, hear now my words. Who's dealing with an enemy? Who's dealing with an enemy? Come on, Jesus. Okay, okay, this is for you. Okay, let me turn this way so I can make sure. Because ain't nobody else got no enemies but me and you. Because I, I got some enemies. I got some. Okay, you too? Okay, you got some. Okay, cool. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Numbers 12, 6 through 10 says, And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in the vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Sly. All right. Come on, my servant. Laura. My servant yes. is not so. Come on, who is faithful in all my house. Yes. 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 With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. On, and the similitude of the Lord shall 
he behold. Wherefore then were you not afraid to speak against my servant? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And the Lord departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was a leper. I am not baffled at the fact that Miriam was a leper. All right. What gets me is God gave Moses special privileges. Yes, he did. Yes. Let me show you this revelation. The Lord told the children of Israel not to marry outside of their race. Yes, he did. But Moses' wife was a black woman. All right. So the charges that Miriam and Aaron had against Moses was true. But what they didn't realize that the favor of God supersedes uh, any other. Y'all not trying to hear what I'm saying. Moses walked in a level of favor that made God supersede his own spiritual rules uh, because he had favor with God. Uh, Somebody say, God will break rules for you. God will break God rules will cause for you. you to walk on water. God will cause you to walk through the fire and not be burned. He'll call you to tread through the serpent and the scorpions. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He broke his own rule. Because he pleased God. Yes, yes. Can I testify? Hallelujah. I'm going to testify. Not too long ago, somebody left the ministry and said, you are not a true prophet. And said, and I'm going to tell everybody that you ain't a true prophet. <laughs> Blew me up. And you know what the Lord said? Don't say a word. Now, it's different if you blow me up. But you put my wife in it, bruh? Like, you're really lucky that I didn't dot you up for that. I mean, pray for you in the spirit of the Lord that the Holy Ghost can fall freshly on your life. The Lord says, shut your mouth. One morning, about three months later, I got a text message and said, Prophet. You have invaded my dreams. You was in my dreams and, and I just had to call and apologize to you for whatever I said. I didn't mean it. I just want peace of mind. Could you listen? When you put your mouth on God's favor, you will feel not trying. Somebody say, I got favor. You don't have to fight your battles. Uh, not when God is on your side. Hey, prophet. Defend when God says defend. And when God says shut your mouth, you shut your mouth. No matter what I could have done, I couldn't have got into them dreams. Well, you know, that must have been a rough dream for him to call me back. Prophet, listen, I just want you to know that I apologize for everything I said and done unto thee. Please forgive us thou servant.
this side because of your influence with God everybody around you connected to you in your bloodline married to you is about to be blessed if it's connected to you it's about to be blessed if it came out of your womb it's about to be blessed if it got your name it's about to be blessed connected by marriage, uh, it's about to be blessed. Uh, if it's connected by vision, uh, it's about to be blessed. Uh, whatever is, uh, what, whatever is. Uh. Somebody say, I got influence. Oh, but you're thinking I'm invisible. Woo! I feel a release in the spirit. I feel a release in the spirit. I feel a release in the spirit. Clap your hands and give God a praise. Clap your hands and give him 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 a praise. Hey, 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 hey. It's a release it. Release it, Lord. 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 We call it down in the name of Jesus. You have influence with God. Please sit down. You got, <laughs> we got one job, cut the grass, wash the car. That's all you got to do. You can't even get that right. He fussing. And then all of a sudden he went, go ahead and take it. And I was like, go ahead and take it. He said, yeah, just take it. But when I turned around, my mom was in the background like this. She was able to do that because she had influence with my father. That's the same thing that's going to happen with your children. That's the same thing that's going to happen with your house. They're going to ask out for a scholarship, and God's going to say no. But he's going to look at you and say, let them have it, and it shall be done. Y'all not trying. <laughs> the next time your child is in a struggle, look at him and say, he's going to let you have it. The next time you're in a faith fight, uh, remind yourself, he's going to let you have it. The next time you want to give up, uh, tell yourself, uh, he's going to let you have it. Listen, I declare and decree, because you have honored God in everything you did, you trusted him when others walked away. You obeyed when others denied him. You sacrificed until it was uncomfortable. Yes, yes. Now God will reveal a mystery that's going to change your life yes. forever because you have authority with yes. him. Somebody say, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. Listen, this is not a suggestion. This is a prophetic instruction. Hallelujah. This is not a suggestion. Hear me. This is a prophetic instruction by the power of Jesus Christ. Operate in the authority or your influence with God and start calling things forth. Yes, God. I receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You're in the perfect will of God. Start calling it forth. Amen. 
There's a glory that God wants to reveal in you. God wants you to use your influence with him so he can pour out the spirit of wisdom so you can, can, so you can declare mysteries about yourself that you didn't even know. Yes, yes. Have you ever had a spiritual encounter with God and God gives you a revelation about you you had no idea? Mm. Let me show you this in the word. Go to 1 Corinthians 2 and 7. And I'm going to read two versions, the King James and the message. It says, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Unto our glory. The message Bible says godly wisdom is something mysterious that goes deep into the interior of his purpose. You don't find it laying around on the surface. It's not the latest message, but like the oldest, what God determined as the way to bring out his best in us long before we ever arrived on the scene. There is a glory of God. Listen, you have an intentional miracle inside of you. Somebody say, I've got an intentional miracle. I've got an intentional miracle. Y'all not saying that right. Say, I got an intentional miracle. I got an intentional miracle. Th that was actually good. I didn't have to, have to do that again. That was good. You have an intentional miracle. There is something hidden on the inside of you that God has designed to give you the glory. Amen. Amen. It could be a business. It could be a vision or an ideal, but there is something that God puts in every last one of us yes. to bring us glory. Yes. What does glory mean? Glory means that when people look at you, yes. your blessings point them back to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's like a spiritual charisma. Mm. Have you... Have you ever seen someone, now, don't take this wrong, but have you ever seen someone that may, they may not be all that attractive, but they got swag? <laughs> I'm talking to this side, y'all. Y'all not even talking to me. They're just not that attractive, but they got swag, though. I mean, she walking like, isn't she lovely? You like, she tall, but there's something about her. There's, there's something going on in there. There is a spiritual charisma, a hidden miracle, an intentional miracle on the inside of you that as you're pleasing God and you're influencing God, God is going to release that seed of destiny. And this seed of destiny is going to shine so bright that people want to serve your God. Wow. Oh, yes. Hey! They are going to want to serve your God. Listen, we are entering a season. They are declaring a recession and a depression. And all these things are happening. And the world is looking for a solution. What better time to shine than when we're in a drought? What better time to shine when the rest of the world is oppressed and depressed? Hallelujah. Somebody say, I got authority. I got authority. Say this with me. Say, Lord. Lord. Show me how. Show me how. What I went through. What I went through. Glorifies me and you. Glorifies me and so you. So you can be glorified. So you can be glorified. Say, Lord. Lord. Manifest. Manifest. The intentional miracle. The intentional That you put inside of me. That you put inside of me. For my glory. For my glory. And it is so in Jesus' and name. Clap so. your hands and Hallelujah. give him praise. Hallelujah. Watch this. Somebody say aptitude. Aptitude. We talked about authority. Now let's go into aptitude. In the principle of calling it forth, aptitude is, listen, 
you have proven that you have the capacity or the ability to manage what God has already given you. So when you ask for more, God says yes, because you're asking from a place of proven stewardship and not just desires. All right, come on. Yeah, this is going to be a little bumpy right here. That authority, I knew y'all was going to like authority influence, but this, this may hurt a little bit. According to the principle of calling it forth, aptitude is you have proven that you have the capacity or the ability to manage what God has already given you. So when you ask for more, God says yes, because you're asking from a place of proven stewardship and not just desire. You're requesting, you are, I declare and decree a new building in the mighty name of Jesus. And I have the aptitude for it because I've shown faithful with the few that God already gave me. Y'all don't believe me. Go to Matthew 25, 14 through 21. Kenya, your first truck you own gonna be red. It's gonna be a red truck. Prophesy. It's gonna be really... Are you listening? It's gonna be red. Prophesy. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. Matter of fact, somebody's gonna practically give you the truck. Prophesy. Hallelujah. Is that how you receive a word, Kenya? Is that how you receive? You better get on your feet and give God some praise Prophesy. in this. Are you ready for that breakthrough, man of God? Hallelujah. Take a lap. Clap your hands and give God praise right Hallelujah. now. Go, go. Hallelujah. Quickly, quickly. Don't be looking. Y'all better clap like yours is next. Y'all going to... Listen to this. I'm not going to mess with you. I heard something else in the spirit. I'm not going to bother you. Then if you knew it, why are you sitting there? Watch out for the court. Watch out for the court. gonna get okay let me give you a hint God said you got four trucks you went around twice you will abort the last two if you're not Can you I know you heard that, Demetrius. something to him. Come on, clap your hands and give him praise. Come on, clap your hands and give him praise. Come on, clap your hands and give him praise. Come on, 
When you feel that spiritual impression in your spirit, and I look at you like this, tell me that. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Ooh, that was a release. Yes, listen. Matthew 25, 14 to 21. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one. To every man, according to his several abilities, straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. Somebody say he, he came up. He came up. Likewise, he that received two, he also gained other two. Let's skip down to 21. And his Lord said unto him, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Let me give you this before we go any deeper. How you are treating what God has already gave you is preparing you for what you get next. Are you listening to me? How you are dealing with what God has already given you is preparing you for what you will get next. He said, enter into the joy of the Lord. Let me show you this. In the Greek, joy means cheerful or delight. But that is not the complete revelation. The complete revelation is this. Joy in this context is a feminine now. Somebody say a feminine now. Which means it has an ability once it is conceived to perpetuate itself. Y'all missed that. That means once you get joy, joy just continues on its. It self perpetuates its. He said, into the joy of the Lord. Watch this. That is not Lord with a capital L. That is Lord with a lowercase l, which means uh, it is a Lord in the earthly realm. So when he says enter into the joy of the Lord, what he is saying? Into in a self-perpetuating manifestation of earthly kingship. words watch this enter into the joy of the Lord that means the Lord whom he was connected with uh, you receive an impartation to have what he had y'all missed that revelation enter into the joy the self perpetuating environment of how kings live let me make this practical so if you have been responsible with your money you will enter into a self-perpetuating joy of kingship where God can increase your money because you've been responsible with it watch this let me go deeper that means you acted like a king when you didn't have anything 
Y'all looking at me like I'm talking French in here. That means you had the mind of a millionaire while you were just a thousandaire. But you treated the thousand like it was a million dollars. Y'all not trying to hear what I'm saying. Are you seeing it? This speaks revelation even to the singles. If you're taking care of yourself as a single. It got quiet in here real quick. The air just took the batteries out. That means if you're taking care of yourself as a single, God can increase you relationally because your relationship with yourself is important when God chooses you a mate. How you see yourself is significant. Because how I see myself ultimately reflects on how I see my wife. I told you it was going to get bumped. When you have managed what God has already given you well, you entered into the joy of the Lord. Somebody say, I have the capacity for great things. I have the capacity for great things. You guys don't sound convinced. Say, I have the capacity for great things. I have the capacity for great things. Say, the very cause. The very cause. That I am alive. That I am alive. And why drugs didn't kill me. And why drugs didn't kill me. And why me. the accident didn't kill me. Why the accident didn't why kill me. Why jealousy didn't kill me. Why jealousy didn't kill why me. Why haters didn't kill me. Why haters didn't kill because me. Because I had great things still on the inside Because of I me. had great things still on the inside. Hallelujah. Yo, aptitude has kept you alive thus far. Your aptitude, what you can handle, how much you can hold, how you can bless the kingdom of God has kept you around this far. Somebody say, I got aptitude. I got aptitude. Psalms 115, 15 through 16. Write this down. I want you to see this. It says, listen, ye are blessed of the Lord, which, don't let the devil make you feel stupid, Demetria. Guys, hey, I'm telling you, bro, you'd be a millionaire. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. And listen, don't big time me, bro. Don't big time me. No, do, do, do. I'm sorry. You have reached the number. That, no, 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 no. I will pray. Lord, take the grace, Jesus. Listen to this. It says, ye are blessed of the Lord which made heaven and earth. The heaven, even the heavens are the Lord's. But the earth he has given to the children of men. You got to look at this whole earth as an open deed of trust. And whoever manages what they have well will receive more of the earth. When you manage this much, because the Lord said, the heavens is mine, I, the, but this earth, I give them to y'all. Listen, let me show you this. Why did God tell Adam that he has dominion over the whole earth, but he only put him in Eden? Because Eden was a trial basis, and how he managed Eden is how much he was going to inherit more of the earth. Say you have 
because you're asking from a place of proven stewardship and not just desire. We are talking about the principle of calling it forth. We're talking about the triple A's of the principle of calling it forth. We're talking about authority or your influence. We're talking about aptitude, which is your capacity. And now we're going to speak about awareness. Somebody say, I got awareness. I got awareness. Awareness in the principle of calling it forth. And this is the last thing, and we're going to pray. I just feel a breakthrough for so many people in this place. God's go so good. Let me tell you what the principle of calling it forth says first. By consistently applying the revelation of the will of God for your life. So you're in the perfect will. You understand now. You will use your authority, your influence your aptitude, your capacity, and your awareness to constantly proclaim a spiritual mission. And Jesus will cause it to manifest in your now. Somebody say, I got awareness. I got awareness. Now, awareness in regards to the principle of calling it forth states, listen, you possess the consciousness or an understanding when you call things forth, you are calling as God's favorite Baby, give me my phone back. Let me read that again. You possess the consciousness or an understanding. When you call things forth, you are calling as God's favorite friend. Look in the front part. Somebody say, I'm a friend of God. I'm a friend of God. I'm a friend of God. I am a friend of God. Somebody come get that one. <laughs> Somebody come get that one. Somebody come get that money. <laughs> Watch the revelation. Watch the revelation. My son and Cassandra felt close enough to me that when I said, come get this money, they knew they had a relationship with me that they can have access to whatever the father said. They are aware that they are connected. Yes, yes. So whatever I have, yes. they got access to. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. So, <laughs> so when the Father says to call something forth, uh, you're not calling something forth as a stranger, but you're calling it forth uh, as a friend uh, of God, my God. Uh, Miracle, I call it forth. Yes, and it is Breakthrough, God. I call yes. it forth. It. Healing, I call it forth. Yes. I'm not just calling Hallelujah. as a servant, yes. but I'm calling as a... <laughs> I'm in relationship. They are aware. They are aware of who they she, she ain't been with me long, but she know who she is to me. 
She said, I'm at my spiritual father's house. And if he got joy, then I got joy. If he has miracles, then I got miracles. If he got a breakthrough, I got a breakthrough. If he has a healing, I've got a healing. If he has strength, then I've got strength. If he has resources, then I've got resources. Because I... Somebody say, I'm in my father's house. 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 And whatever my father has, I've got access to. I got access to. Now you're understanding how you can call things forth. It starts with obedience and being in the perfect will of God. Then it goes into a sacrificial relationship with God. Well, I choose to obey even at a sacrifice. I'll obey even when it hurts. My whole life can be falling apart, but I say yes, Lord. Everybody else can get away with it, but I choose to trust you in the process. I say, yes, Lord. 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 After I say yes, Lord, then I recognize that because I said yes, I have authority with God. I have influence with God. Now, he, now he's listening to every word that I say. Now that I got his influence, he's leaning in my direction. He's leaning. He, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me. He leaned unto me. He leaned unto me. He heard my cry. Then I recognize now that I have aptitudes because I was leaning on God. He taught me how to be a wise steward of what he's already gave me. And then I had it. I'll say this and then we're going to pray. Sly and Dylan are in the house right now. Sly stays in the house. Now, you know that's the Holy Spirit right there. That's his goodness. I'm, God's been doing the work. Dylan's been sober for how many weeks, champ? Two weeks. Corey, you're next. God's going to set you free. I want you to come get prayer today. Just being transparent. Two weeks. I've never seen anybody smoke more weed in my life. Man, I'm tired. Let me go smoke a joint. Man, I want to eat. Let me go smoke a joint. I'm thinking about smoking a joint. Let me go smoke a joint. (laughs) 
I celebrate his victory with him. I stay up now. Amen. Amen. We was up till what, 12.30 this morning? Just talking. I was tired, too. <laughs> He's like, so, Dad, let's talk about the political equations. I was like. <laughs> Listen. Real quick. Win, lose, or draw, I'm still proud of him. I still love him. If he falls, I still love him. So, Sly is living in the house with me. And Sly was my prodigal son. You know, Sly's the one that he, 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 he really kept me playing. Sly comes in the house, opens the refrigerator, picks what he wants, open up some cookies, and then say a word. You want to know why? Because it doesn't matter what the relationship was, he still knew that he was my son. <laughs> and that's what God is saying to you. No matter what you've done, no matter what has happened, no matter what is going on in your life, you're still my daughter. You're still my son. You're still, you're still my son. He's still me. Still got access. As of today, I want you to search your life and I want you to start being obedient. How many of you guys started the 60 day trial? 60 days of obedience. Okay, one person. Okay, two, three people. Sweet Lord Jesus, have mercy upon our soul. Okay, no music. The 60 day of obedience is before we pray for the sick and they shall be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Please remain standing if you can. It takes 21 days to create a habit. So for 21 days, I want you to be obedient to God. On the 30th day, so seven days after that, you need, you'll start noticing that you want to be obedient to God. Amen. It's like, man, I just want to be obedient. 30 days after that, your obedience to God becomes a habit. After your 60 days, watch when you speak how things start happening in your life. The 60-day challenge. Three people. Three people. The 60-day challenge. Now, let's say it again. How many of you are going to do the 60-day challenge starting today? <laughs> Let me give you a carnal example. Your child can be wreaking havoc, tearing up the house. You're like, that little joker is the worst. As soon as you hear them running around the house, oh, Lord, here we go. Have you ever had a child you can tell? Have you ever had a child and you can tell who broke it by, you can tell who did something wrong by that nature of what went wrong? You can have five kids and something will break and you be like, that looked like something, that, that looked like something Dylan would do. That looked like him. <laughs> but when that child starts obeying, how long does it take you to forgive and let it go? Within a week or two, you'd be like, oh. So what is God going to do for you? 60 days. Listen, this is critical. This is a prophetic instruction. 60 days of obedience. It's going to change your life. When you speak, it's going to happen. I want to pray for now everyone in this building that has been sick. Oh, there you go. Uh, hold on. Everybody in this building that has been sick, there's a healing. Uh, there's a healing. I'm hearing a song. I don't know what it is. It's something my spirit vents want. I, I don't know. It's just something with healing. In the name of Jesus. 
Lord of a breakthrough. Who's that? Listen, I want, it, I want everybody up here. Listen, I want everybody up here to start confessing whatever situation in your life to God that you have not let go of. I believe 90% of the sicknesses that we face is demonic. I want you to listen. Even right now as we're speaking. Did you go get that? Did you go get the echogram I told you in six weeks to get it done? We work with you. We work with you. Lord of the breakthrough. I just wanted to see it. That's why I, I wanted to see it for myself. Because see, when we build Change Church, I'm actually going to have a wall of stuff like that. Old echocardiogram, new echocardiogram. Listen, no drums, just hi hats. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to confess any sin that you have unconfessed, that you have not confessed right now. Begin to talk to the Lord. Close your eyes and begin to talk to the Lord. Begin to talk to the Lord. Yes. Yes, we all have sinned. All of us. Worship you. We worship you. Oh Lord. Lord of the breakthrough. Oh Lord. Lord of the breakthrough. You are the Lord of the breakthrough. And we worship you. We we There you go. Talk to the Lord. Oh Lord. Lift up your hands and begin to talk to the Lord. Oh Lord, Lord of the you are the Lord, the Lord of the breakthrough. And we, and we, we, worship we, you. we, we, we worship you. Say, Lord, Lord talk to the Say, Lord, Lord you are the Lord. Are the, Lord. the information the that is in your body is going to lead we today. Listen, I want you to we say this. You. Say this, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I thank you now, thank you now for healing me. Healing me. I thank you now, thank you now for delivering me. For delivering me. My healing, my healing and my deliverance, my deliverance is, now. is now. I call it forth, call it forth in, the in the mighty name of Jesus. I call it forth, call it forth in the mighty name of Jesus. I call it forth in the mighty name of Jesus. And I give God praise and begin to speak God in your language. Oh. Tell him thank you. Oh. I feel it. There you go. I feel it. 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 I want you to go through. Come here, Mary. 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 Come Hallelujah, come on. Hallelujah, come on. Come on, we're setting the atmosphere again. Come on, hallelujah. 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 You are the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, bring it up. Hallelujah.
That is a demonic spirit. I can literally smell your sickness in the air. That is a demonic spirit. You are about to get set free in this place. You are about to get set free in this place. Somebody say, I'm about to be free in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm about to be free in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm about to be free in the name of Jesus. Listen, I want Watch this. I want you to see yourself healed. In your prophetic eye, I want you to see yourself healed right now. Lift up your hands and see yourself healed. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I cast you off of that woman. I cast you off of that woman in the name of Jesus. I cast you off of that woman in the name of Jesus. I cast you off of that man in the name of Jesus. I cast you off of that woman in the name of Jesus. I cast you off of that man in the name of Jesus. I cast you off of that woman in the name of Jesus. I cast you off of that woman in the name of Jesus. I cast you off of mama in the name of Jesus. I cast you off of that woman in the name of Jesus. I cast you off of that woman in the name of Jesus. I cast you off of that man in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And you worship you. In the name of Jesus. 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 You are the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we worship you. Rabba ke seda lama te koma na na na. Come on, help me pray for her. Oh, baby, put that down. Re kama, come on, shen na maha. Thank you, Jesus. In the name, so stand behind him. I need you to catch her. In the name of Jesus. Look at me. Say in the Lord, rebuke you right now. In the name of Jesus. Every sin sickness that has been amongst you. I rebuke you, say it in the name of Jesus. Loose him. She crap on top of she clip. Loose him, Medaka. You're free in the name of Jesus. Lift up. Listen, that was a demonic attack to distract you and take that mic out of your hand. That's what it was. That's why it came to distract you. If you would have spoken that mic today, you would have entered a whole new prophetic didn't I tell you not to let them do that? Didn't we have a conversation about that? Lift up your hands, woman of God. God going to give you another chance on this Sunday. When they come to get your mic, they ah, a negative. The apostle said to keep it. It's a prophetic dimension that God, no, no, Rob. No, no, no. I need you to get ministered to because you're a powerful man of God. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Free take In the name of Jesus. That inflammation, you bothered me on Thursday. No. That inflammation, go now. Sit in the name of Jesus. I declare you to leave that woman now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Leave now in the name of Jesus. Leave now in the name of Jesus. Leave now. Leave that king of my shake. And you are free. Free in the name of Jesus. Free in the name of Jesus. I heard in the spirit God say, are you healed? Are you healed? Are you healed? Are you healed? I cast that spirit off of you in the name of Jesus. Say that the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I command you to stop afflicting this woman of God. I command you to leave right now. I cast you out. I cast you out. Go. 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 Come out of that woman. Go. Go. Yeah, come out of Healing. Get in my son. Go now. You're the Lord of the breakthrough. Heal, 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 He
Heal, Sabadaka. Heal, Saba. Heal. Go, loose that man. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Yes, the Lord rebuke you. Yes, the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Are you healed? Are you healed? Stay here. Are you healed? Yes. As they went. Mute my mic, Will, one second. Are they? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Thank you. and it will happen. Do that, and it will happen. Are you listening to me? As a man of God, you know I'm not a lying prophet. You do that, and he will heal your body. I told you during COVID-19, when it was peak of it, it said it is not your time, and you are still here. Do that and God will heal you. Hallelujah. And then they saw, Kriya, are you healed? Yes. Is infirmity out of your house? Is infirmity out of your house? Is it out of your house? Yes. Is it out of your house? Yes. I want you to give God praise right now. Yes. I want you to give him praise right now. I want you to give him praise right now. Give him praise right now. Yes, Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, Grab a mic. Oh, Hallelujah. Hey, lift up your hands, Kia. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every hindering, every spirit of heaviness that tries to take your joy, that's trying to take your joy. Out now in the name of Jesus. Loose this woman. Loose this woman. Oh, it's gone. It is gone. It is gone. It is gone. It is gone. No more. It is gone. It is gone, Rob. It's gone. It's gone, Rob. It is gone. Strength. God said, I'm renewing and restoring your strength. Yeah, Panana. It is so. It is so. It is so. What healing do you need, woman? Oh, Lord of a breakthrough. Lord of a breakthrough. You are the Lord of a breakthrough. We worship you. We worship you. Speak in tongues. Begin to speak in tongues. Say, Lord, fill me where he was. Just begin to minister to yourself. And we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Lord of a brain. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You are the come on, Lord come on. of the breakthrough. And we worship we you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Sing, Lord. Lord of the breakthrough. Sing, Lord. Lord of the breakthrough. breakthrough. You are the Lord. the Lord of the breakthrough. And we worship, we worship you. And we worship you. We worship you. Every prophet, come around me right now. Every single prophet. Every single prophet, come on quickly. Every prophet. Put, lay your hands on this. Every, come on, come on. Every prophet. Come on, come on, point your hands up here. Point your hands. And it is so in the name of Jesus. Woman of God, Reba Namaha, I want you to take this home. For the next seven days, put it where it hurts, and God will heal it in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands, woman of God, and it is so. And leave, leave now. Leave now. Leave now. Leave now in the mighty name of Jesus. Leave now. Leave now in the name of Jesus. 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 I declare victory. Victory. Hey! Mama, did you get my word? You 
got my word? Lord, he said, persevere. Okay. You are the Did you text Lord me back and let me know you got my word? We worship you. Persevere. We worship you. God sees you. Lord of he sees you. He said, persevere. Lord of the are you listening? That you means the weather the, the storm with Jesus Christ. We Minister to her. You. Minister to her. Rebata shekomana na she. Sipra kate kita madako she rabata madako she. Rebata she ma. Minister to her, Mary. You are the Lord of the grave. We worship you. God's going to extend you grace. We worship you. Huh? Okay, come on. Come on, come whisper it. Lord of a breakthrough. Come on, come on. Lord, Lord of a breakthrough. Lord of a breakthrough. Yeah. You are the Lord of a breakthrough. We worship you. We worship you. Lord of a breakthrough. Lord of a breakthrough. You are the Lord of a breakthrough. We worship you. We worship you. Okay, watch we this. Wait. First, tell them what the Lord did. So, so let me tell you what it is. So tell them what you told me up front. Go ahead. Well, when I first came, um, the apostle told me to come back the following Sunday because I had a miracle. So I came back, and I told him, and I told him a little bit what's going on. So my granddaughter was supposed to turn herself in on August the 8th. She got a call from her corporate parole officer. Now she don't have to go to the 31st of October. But now... No, 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 no. Watch this. You know why God did it? Let me tell you why God did it. If she does not come... Now, I don't know how to do it because I'm trying to learn to put, make it soft and gentle. I'm, okay. uh, I'm learning prophetically That's sometimes. Because okay. I hear what I hear. I, I like, bow. I like, you know, but I'm trying to be all sweet know, and gentle and kind. Just, just okay. Be okay. If she doesn't come and honor God, he extended the time. If she doesn't come and honor God, she's going to get the full Monty of time. Right. I understand. The highest degree of punishment that she can get. God extended it because of you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Yes. Not that you're perfect because you came to the house of God. Yes. If she comes here, God will minimize. Matter of fact, if she would have came I, last Sunday, the spirit of release was in this place. Yes. And you were not here. I said, where is she? I know. I got the call. <laughs> I got the call. But woman of God? I'm trying. No, 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 I'm no, no, trying. no, no. Woman of God, look, look at me. You can do nothing of your own. You are fighting a spiritual warfare. I want every intercessor to point your hand towards this woman of God. In the name of Jesus. What's, her, what's your daughter's name? name? Jesus. Granddaughter. What's your granddaughter's name? Abriana. Abriana. In the name of intercessors, begin to intercede that that spirit releases this hold off of her mind. Lift up your hands, mama. Lift up your hands in the name of His grace abounds. 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 Grace. 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 I don't care what she is in. Grace will abound in the name of Jesus. Grace. 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 You're healed. The inflammation. You're going to notice that you're going to be. I'm trying to learn tactics. Um, and an increase of, of, of waste. That's a part of your deliverance. The, it's going to be a different. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to put clothes on it. Uh, the saver is going to be different. That's a demonic spirit leaving. And it is so in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Hey, Thank you, Jesus. Lord of a breakthrough. Yeah. You weren't one of the sick ones, were you? Oh, did I tell you to come up here? I don't forgot. Lord Jesus, Lord, remind your servant. Oh, Lord. Lord of a breakthrough. Lord of a breakthrough. Lord of 
Sobriety, no problem. Fatherhood, no problem. He's going to turn your life around. Come on. Rob, be a and minister to the family. Minister to the family. We worship you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. That is too late. There is no problem and no crisis that is too late. Most of the blessings that I have received in my life has come late. Or what I thought was late. But to God it was right on time. Listen, Corey. You are right on time. Stop letting the devil tell you that you blew it. It is not too late. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is he weary. There is no searching his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases their strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, that is going to be your scripture, Isaiah 40. Somebody find that for him. Isaiah 40, I think it's 29. It's not too late. You're going to be a great father. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. You're going to be a great father. Hallelujah. A great Jesus. business mind. In the name of Jesus. A great entrepreneur. In the name of Jesus. I speak that over your life now in it the name so. of Jesus. Lift up your hands. I want you to say, I receive it. 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 I receive it in the name of Jesus. And in this soul, my nephew, she ramatakase. I curse the very addictive. Spirit, you will not fail. I speak it into your life. There is no failure in you. There is no failure. I cast you out of his mind, that spirit. 
that self-defeating spirit, that counterproductive, that decides to go backwards when you make five steps forward. That devil just lied to you, and he will never have that influence. I cast you out right now, and I replace hope. I put hope here now. I put strength here now. I put joy here now. I put joy here now. I put confidence now in the name of Jesus. Chris, I hear this in the spirit. Come here, man of God. Come on, quickly, quickly. I hear this in the spirit. I want you to lay hands on him and say, no, come right over in front and begin to minister. Just restoration. Just minister restoration. There's anointing on you. Restoration in the name of Jesus. Restoration. Rest yes. Restoration. Yes. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. Yes, Lord. And it is so. And it is so. Now clap your hands and give God praise. Listen. Something's going to change in your life. Every Sunday, something's going something's to be small, and something's going to be turned around. There's room for you here, and we just call the door in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and Hallelujah. give us praise, and Thank we call you, it Jesus. done in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, here, 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 here. Oh, Lord. Come here, Yoli. Come on. Every prophet in the house, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Do you remember that Sunday? No, not that one. That's not the one God gave to me. But this is the one Mama gonna have. Yeah, that that's not. Yeah, that that one's cool. This is prophetic instruction. That's your desire. Which would you prefer? Okay. <laughs> Every prophet, come on, lay your hands on this. Every prophet. Every prophet. Okay, no, no. Here you go uh, up here, man. I got every prophet. Rema, come on. Say ring, kama. Say nini a secret nama ha. Full restoration of strength. Full restoration of strength. Full restoration of strength. Full restoration of strength. Full restoration of full restoration of strength. Full restoration of strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Clap your hands, prophets, and give God praise. Listen. Listen, no glory. All glory belongs to God. Say, all glory belongs to God. All glory, all glory belongs to God. Belongs to God. Listen, the Lord is going to be moving powerful in this place. And we need to set an environment so the enemy don't kill me. Amen, amen. I don't want none of God's glory. So when I say all glory, you say belongs to God. Yeah. All glory belongs to God. 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 And when I say all praises, you say belong to Jesus. All praises belongs to Jesus. All praises belongs to Jesus. All praises belongs to Jesus. And it is so. Listen, before your mama had the stroke, now you see why the Lord had to tell her. It's not to, don't you let the devil. The Lord says she's going to have some good days. Yes. Amen. And it is Listen, so. And it is so when the devil came to take her, he could not take her because the word was already over her yes. life. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All glory. Belongs to God. All glory. Belongs hey. to God. All glory. Belongs to God. All glory. Belongs to God. And all praises. Belongs to Jesus. All praises. Belongs to Jesus. All praises. Belongs to Jesus. Yoli, as long, listen, put this, tell mama, put this in her bed. As long as mama has a will to fight, she's going to be here. I see in the spirit, she like Jesus. Where Jesus had to give up the ghost. Are you listening to me? Y'all, y'all looking at me funny. Come on, come on, Jesus. As long as she won't be here, Mama gonna be here. Yes, and it is so. Are you hearing me? Yes. 
And it is so in Jesus' name. Come on, come on. And it is so in Jesus' name. All praises belongs to Jesus. All praises belongs to Jesus. All praises belongs to Jesus. And all glory belongs to God. All glory belongs to God. Hallelujah. Come on, just a little bit longer. There you go, that's what I needed to hear. There you go, right there. Well, come on. We'll put it up to her. Come on up here. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, thank you, Lord. I just felt a pressing in my spirit to share a little bit of a testimony um, for those that are struggling. I used to be a heavy addict, heavy, smoking weed every single day, drinking every single day. And the Lord has healed me. He has delivered me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, I, have, I have been free and I've fallen. I've been free and I've fallen. I've gone back and forth, back and forth for years, 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 years. And God has healed me. He has helped me. I have been sober for a little over two months now. Hallelujah. 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 I've been coming to this church. The Lord has renewed my strength. Hey, he has hallelujah. helped me. He has healed me in a way I can't even explain. Since I've been coming to this church, the Lord has helped my desires. He has helped me draw closer to him. So I encourage every single person who's struggling, just give it to God for real. Cry out to him in that time that you're struggling. Cry out to him. Cry out to him. He will fulfill your needs. He will fulfill your needs. Hallelujah. Clap your hands. All glory. Hey, belongs to God. All glory. 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 Belongs to God. All praises. Belongs to Jesus. 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 All He will change oh, no, no. There are angels moving in our midst hey, 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 hey. that will change your life. Hallelujah. All praises belongs to Jesus. All praises belongs to Jesus. And all glory belongs to God. Hallelujah. Clap your hands. Listen, we Wow. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Amen. Won't he do it? Amen. How's it feel to be free? Amen. Woo! Boy, freedom will keep money in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> well, that weed is expensive, Doc. It'll get you. <laughs> Listen, Kian, I'm telling you. Listen, as we pray, Kalamon Sherin Fadamana Kashi. As we can, I mean, listen, if there's anyone who is not saved, if you don't know the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I couldn't move on unless we offered you that, op that opportunity to come to God. Amen. If you are saved, if you are not. So listen, say this with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe in my heart. I confess in my mouth. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. That Jesus is Lord. And that you raised him from the dead. And that you raised him from the dead. And now I receive you into my heart. And I receive you into my heart as Lord and Savior. As Lord and Savior. Now clap your hands because you're saved. You're saved. Woo. Amen. Amen. Offering. Thank you. Listen, we want to prepare to sow on today. I want everybody to sow, get your best seed. 
God is able to do. Yes. Get your best seed. Get your best seed. Amen. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He's able. Amen. These online church, thank you so much He's able. for sowing. Sapphira, get ready for your miracle if you're watching. Sapphira, your trucking business is going to take off, Sapphira. Sapphira, come to the house one time. I know you're an online member. Get to the house one time. Your trucking business is going to take off. I hope she's watching. I. Do you know how to get in touch with Sapphira? Anybody? Okay. Amen. Don't give up on God. Yes. Because he won't give up on you. He's able. Woo. Bring your, bring your seeds. Bring your seeds. He's able. I love that prophetic anointing. Yes. Help me say it. God, God is able to do just what he said he would do. Stay up here. Stay up here. Stay up here. Come He's on. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on. Don't, don't give up on God. Because he won't give up. If you don't have an offering, come anyways, come anyways. Come on, if you don't have one, I gave all mine. I gave all mine. Away. He's able. He's able. Hallelujah. Hey, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I know what that feels like. I remember sitting there, as we're bringing our offering, I remember sitting there getting high and crying because I didn't want to be high, but I couldn't help it. And when I came to God and he took that away, I've been clean now since 2010. 2010, 12 years. He'll do it. And he'll keep you. He'll keep you. Less, Lord. Yes, Lord. Here we go. Let's give our giving scripture on it. Did you guys put a claim on your seed when you set it down? You said, Lord, I'm sowing for this. If you haven't, say it now. Here we go. Let's say this together. One, two, three. Lord, I confess this is my best sacrifice I live to thee. Thank you for the opportunity to give to you first of what you have given to me. According to your word, I receive financial increase, blessings and favor, miracles and new ideals, concepts and opportunities, favorable settlements, estates and inheritance, unexpected debt cancellation that will increase my resources a hundredfold. Lord, send prosperity now, according to Psalms 118 and 25. I denounce every negative confession over my finances and investments, properties I own and will own in Jesus' name. I declare money comes to me now to fulfill my destiny and aid me in my kingdom purpose. I am not broke. I have more than enough. I'm not living in lack. I'm living in the surplus of abundance. My offering empowers my church to have more than enough. I see by faith for our global expansion that will result in worldwide missions and acts of kindness. As a tither, the devourer is rebuked and my harvest is protected. In obedience to your word, I declare and decree that I now live in the overflow. And it is so in Jesus' name. Clap your hands and give God praise. Come on, give him praise in this place. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be your name, Jesus. Oh, oh, Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God on today. We serve a mighty God on today. Hallelujah. Glory be your name. The triple A's. Hallelujah. How many of you feel better now than you did when you came in on this morning? Amen. Amen. Isn't God good? Yeah. He is so awesome. There's no place else that we can receive, hallelujah, and be filled up to carry us through the week than in the presence of the Lord. So I have a few announcements, hallelujah. I would just um, govern yourselves accordingly. Get a pen and paper. Um, I'm just going to walk through a few things. 
Um, Activation Thursdays are every Thursdays here um, at Change Church. We have it at 8 o'clock p.m. with the Apostles. It's on Thursdays on Facebook. So Activation Thursdays are Thursday nights on Facebook, and that's at 8 o'clock p.m. Empowerment is coming, okay? For, that's for the men's ministry. So all of you men, invite your men friends to join the Apostle. Sometimes he has a guest speaker for empowerment. That's every first Friday of the month, every first Friday at 7.30 p.m. That's on Instagram. So that's on Instagram on the first Friday. On that Friday, we will not have prayer. Okay, so there will be no prayer on August 5th. Join the Apostle on Instagram if you are one of the men. Stronger Together. Somebody say Stronger Together. Stronger Together. Hallelujah. July's registration. We are meeting um, next Saturday. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Some One person's excited about it. Hallelujah. If you have not RSVP'd, you can do so in the lobby. There is a QR code out there. We're going to be talking about the power to close the gate. It falls right in line with what we are doing here at Change Church. So meet me. All of you women, invite somebody to come out. Bring your aunties, your cousins, your sisters. We are going to have an amazing time in the Lord. So register for Stronger Together. We also meet every Tuesday on Instagram. Okay, and that's at 7.30, we do that live, all right? The apostle is going to be doing a workshop called the Mysteries of the Spirit Realm. That is going to be open to Change Church partners, and those of you who are not part of the ministry, you can join us as well. However, there is a charge. If you want to join, it's an eight-week session. If you want to join the classes weekly, it's $25 per week. You can register in the lobby with the QR code or follow our social media platforms, and the registration link is available. Um, there is no cost if you belong to the house. Hallelujah. Uh, we are partnering with Arlington Temporary Assistance. We are giving away 80 backpacks for back to school for the kids. Can we give God a hand of praise for that? Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you all for your donations. Those of you that have donated to this, we thank you for that. You can see the Jenkins. Let's continue to give all throughout the year. Let's just not give, you know, sparingly. Let's give all throughout the year. Where That is going to be on the the 31st at 12 o'clock noon the location on the flyer has changed so if it's an old flyer that you're looking at on our social media platforms i'll try to take those down but the new uh, location is on philbin in riverside all right that's the 31st it's on a sunday right after service so it's at 12 o'clock those of you who want to go you can see kia kia raise your hand please and you can partner with her and she'll give you all of the details. There is a setup on the 30th, not sure about what time that's gonna be, um, but you can talk to her as for, for that as well. Um, if you belong to the, the ministry and you're not sure how to stay connected, we are asking you to um, download the Ministry One app. If you go to your app store, you can see the app is called Ministry One. All right, and then that lets you know everything that we're doing at Change. You can watch the messages from that app. It's linked right to our YouTube channel. You can register for all mysteries of the spirit realm, for Stronger Together. Any events that we're doing, the church has an app, okay? And so that will keep you in the loop. We don't have a, a newsletter that goes out. The app is the closest thing um, that we have. And sometimes it takes a couple of weeks for our website to get um, updated because that is a third party that does that. Um, so go to, go there. If you are a partner of Change Church and you want to maybe change the platform and how you give, you can do that at any time. Go to changechurch.org, click member login, create a password, and you will have access to your online giving. You'll have access to your contact information, your date of birth. All of that stuff is in there. However, give us two weeks after you have joined the church so we can get your email because if we don't input your email in there, you won't be able to get in, okay? So give us some time to get your email in there so that all of us can be uh, on one accord. If you would like to be a partner of Change Church, you love our ministry, you want to be part of what we're doing, 
please fill, um, scan the QR code in the lobby and um, fill out that form. And also, we're always looking for volunteers. So, um, so there's also a volunteer uh, QR code in the lobby as well. And you can click that. Um, and, and it has a list of things and services that are open to volunteering. Amen. Amen. Thank you Amen. for your time. As we go into our dismissal prayer, I am asking that you all please stand to your feet. Please keep the Foley, White, Kears family all lifted in prayer. They are at a funeral. They are laying to rest a loved one on this morning. And so if you could please keep them lifted in prayer on this morning. Also, uh, Mama Elena, she is doing well and she is healed, but she is still in the hospital. That's Yoli, Yolanda's mother. Um, they took her a couple of days ago. So please keep Yolanda and and her mother lifted in prayer as they are um, recovering and um, grieving their lost loved ones. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and read our dismissal prayer together. One, two, three. Rise, Rise up, up, Lord, and let, let thine, thine enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee before thee. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put God's name upon our children, and God will bless them. Therefore now, Lord, let the thing that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house be established and do as thou hast said. In Jesus' name, now go live the changed life.